Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode. So in the last episode we are still continuing our Austria war. So we already have uh, Russia all sieged down. So we pretty much brought all of our troops right over here to fight Austria down. Which we have some Italy troops were over here. We still... We did kind of smash down on some Austrian troops. Maybe not Italy's troops. Uh, we did see an encounter, France troops over here, which I don't know why they wouldn't come in and try to siege us down. I don't know if it's maybe distant war, because I mean they did have uh, military access, like all the way to our land over here, which I don't know why they don't want to come down and siege us down, but I guess not. Um, what else? What else? What else? I don't know, I think that's pretty much it. I don't know. Well, I guess the other else is that we could decide on separate peace to separate peace Russia. But that will cost us more than a thousand um, development. No, Diplo points if, if we want to take the land that we want to take. But I don't really think that's worth it because one, I mean, we still have to fight Austria, France, and Italy, and second, I mean, if we were to separate peace, I mean, have our peace deal with Austria, it will cost us no uh, diplo points at all. So, I mean, might as well stay and try to do as best as we can. So, for one, we also need to siege down uh, Austria's capital because that is the war goal. We had, what's like 12 war score, but of course it's going down because we don't have their capital sieged. So right now, we are sieging it down. These guys, I mean, of course we have big stacks, big stacks, a lot of attrition, but we do have a lot of manpower. So I mean, we could try to try to smash these guys in, and if they want to join in, go for it. So you guys, I don't care, I'm just going to group you guys up together. And of course, our morale is down, so I'm just going to wait. What, you're gonna attack? I'm gonna put a general here. I know we have some just standing around. Maybe you will second guess that. And then this stack from Italy, I'm pretty sure is gonna try to fight these 50 stacks. Which I guess I do want them to move out. And then I'll give you a different general. General. Okay, so what's going down over here? So, I mean, these guys we can move forward. We are not going to fight you guys. These guys are just standing around. Which we have no general over here. Yeah, we don't need no force march. What do you have over here? We have a 634. Damn. I mean, we could try to generate some more uh, generals. I mean, well, we don't have. Uh, military power, so maybe not. But we are ahead of time, so. So, January 22nd, so are you guys actually going to fight? No, you're not. Okay, so we won, but we did not stack wipe. Let me still have those freaking rebels. It's, are you or are you not going to see, uh, fight us? Okay, so we have finally got their capital down. Enthusiasm 44, 30, and then 40. So pretty much what we want to take. I mean, we're going to have a, another war with Russia, so which I think we're going to fight with uh, China. So, I mean, of course, we don't have to take all of it. I think I want to take everything here. But maybe I can leave some, like, right here. Uh, maybe I'll take that. No, maybe I'll take this. But I can maybe leave some land right here. So, I mean, maybe their capital is going to be moved over here just so it's close to China. 
just so I don't, I don't have to have like two separate troops over here and over there. This, I don't care about that little bit of Russia for everything else. So yeah, I can probably leave them that. But that's what I mean, that's a hundred war score, which we only have 23. Unless, I, I seriously don't know if, um, Proud Nitro, do you still know if it's still a thing? Like, I remember that we can wait five years and then you automatically have 100% war score. I don't know if that's still a thing or not, because I don't keep up with the updates, or nor do I even read them, which is kind of bad. But I don't know if that's still a thing. I don't know if we want to wait those five years. Cause, I mean, we're playing on speed too, so that's going to take quite some time. So when did we start this war? 2080. So, I mean, we're actually four years in. So I don't know if next year we're going to somehow have a 100 war score. You don't think so? so? I don't know if they took that away or not. So we could attack that 49 stack. We can grow ahead and group you guys up together, move you there. And then these guys we could attack. But we don't have a general. I mean, these these guys, they have pretty good generals. So my best general is right here. Which we could switch up. Because, I mean, these guys... Well, I guess it's just one. I mean, we could probably catch him before he tries to reinforce, I guess. But, I mean, that doesn't really matter. Okay, I don't want to group them up. These guys I do want to fight. So maybe I can have all of these guys fight in here while I'm pretty sure these guys will try to reinforce. But I want a three-star general, which we had one, but... Maybe I can get rid of one of these guys. So who has this general? That's you. So you, no general. Grab a different general. No, besides that one. We will get rid of this general. And try to get a 3 star. Um, is this a 3 star? We got a 5-5-2, five, five, which is a 3 star general. Which I will put you actually... Right over here. And then hopefully you come down here to help them out. Which I'm just going to send the 200. Hopefully you try to come in reinforce. And then you come down here, you're going to go there, which is fine. I do want the three-star general down here as well. But he can't be at two places at once. I mean, if you're gonna attack, go ahead and attack, dude. Just hurry up. Okay, so go down there. I don't know. Nope, they're gonna probably continue. I don't know where Italy's troops are. Okay, so I see they're gonna come over here and try to reinforce. I don't know if we have the morale, because the morale is pretty low over here, which I don't want to lose another battle. We won't catch him. And you guys won't catch him as well. 29th, 30th, February 1st. So maybe we're going to have to try to reinforce them. And then you guys just stay there. So we will be catching them and then you're going to be coming down here to reinforce them which is fine so you will arrive the 27th 31st which we did, which in a couple days so i'm pretty sure they might be locked so you we're going to send you in there and here comes france damn so you guys, Force March. I 
February 10. So I think they might be locked in. Well, good thing we have our three-star general. And then you guys force march in there. If they if France changes their mind, that's even better. Nope, they're locked in. Okay, so we're done there. So we did actually catch them in here. Which we have reinforcements right next to them, just in case. And then we also have you for reinforcements. This is just too ugly. Okay, so part of them. Oh no, that's a different stack, never mind. Okay, so I guess we're gonna stack wipe the rest of them. Where is Italy's stack? I still don't see him. There's somewhere in here. Okay, Italy has another stack. So I guess we're gonna be fighting those stacks. Which we got our mercs. Okay, good. We finished them off. Oh my god, so many damn troops. <laughs> okay, so you just get in there. And then you just be right next to it. Just in case we need to split them off or we need more troops. Another 100 sec, damn. Which they have. But well, we still have more troops, but. Yeah, we're gonna still need more help. In there. Okay, so we finished them off. Well then, let's send more troops. So now we have more troops. Hopefully you guys don't get attacked. We're sending another 80. Uh, we still have more troops. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now they have more troops. Let's do a shift consolidate. And we still have the rebels. I don't know why you're still doing here. Okay, let's group them up, and hopefully we don't encounter Italy stack. So they have a three-star general. We have more troops, but they have a better general. Okay, so they have more troops. Fuck it, let's just send everyone in there. Now, hopefully they don't attack this group right here. Now all these rebels are becoming a pain in the ass. They're gonna be unseaging everything. Yeah, we have just so many troops in here. Uh, what is our war exhaustion? Just two, let's go ahead and lower it. Of course we have our penalty. A river penalty and terrain. I don't know if we lose this, it's gonna suck. And we have some Italy troops down here. Go for it, siege me. Because Austria is apparently high. 
That's because of the ongoing battle. But without that, I'm pretty sure they're still low. So I mean, we can end the war anytime. But we just won't be able to take anything... Anything big. Because yeah, I don't think we're gonna win this. Okay, so we took Russia out. Zero, zero, and... They just have one cannon, probably down there. So, okay, here's their stack. That's the stack I was looking at. So, we'll, this 150. Could we actually get you to force march down there? I actually don't think Otto is going to help him out because these are not our rebels. So he's actually not going to actually... <laughs> I said actually twice. I don't think they're going to go for these guys. So we need everything sieged. Because so I think with these stacks right here, I think we could win this. So I see their morale going down. Lose 50 military power. So I think we have a chance. So these are all my troops. And who knows if it's... Yeah, I think that's all of their troops as well. With mercs. So we have 1 million in here. 1 million troops. <laughs> Damn. Let's go there, then let's go there. Well, that depends if they siege it or not. Nope, it looks like we're losing. I sure got rebels. So this plan, they have more discipline. Morale, we have more morale. Military tactics, they do. Who is our advisor? We have discipline. Yeah, so we probably will lose. I can't okay I can't tell you to force march because we have negative eight military power no not there there no not there there what okay there we go what yeah so we're gonna lose it which kind of sucks but of course I think the main reason we're losing is because of the, the terrain and river, which I did not even look at. Hopefully they don't get, they don't retreat in random places. Okay, so we're still locked. Stay there, force march in there. for sure. So any possible way 
that we can all just... Because I know we're, we're obviously going to lose. Can I tell them to all go there? Okay, they will. Hopefully they don't start coming after us. Go ahead and siege. So apparently our manpower is going up. Like they say, I might have lost the battle, but I did not lose the war. And especially now that they're all spread out, we can just take more stacks. Who knows what if I just have this entire stack just go after smaller stacks. 2k? I don't have 2k map power. I have 2,055k. Of course, everyone here still needs to recover. I feel like this guy, damn, no morale. <laughs> you're, re you're reading wrong, buddy. Manpower activate. Johnny, you never played this game, right? You have like no knowledge of this game? <laughs> You're just saying like random stuff. So I do kind of want to spread these guys out. I mean, either way, they're going to be losing manpower. I mean, attrition. But maybe a little bit less. And they can recover a bit more. So now you guys go up there, shift consolidate. Because so right now we have 22 war score. Because so I think right now, because I mean, I mean, all of the troops are still right here. So I mean, they're still gonna all jump in if we were to fight. Uh, and they're gonna be unsieging, which is so annoying, and especially the capital. No, I, I, I'm not saying like you're saying random things like it's an, like it's dumb or it's annoying. I mean, I'm just saying just randomly. I don't mean it in a mean way, or that you, or that you should stop. I'm, I'm just saying, just just random. Okay, so we definitely need to attack these guys, but that's gonna bring every everyone back in. But we don't have any morale. Thank you. Have no morale. We need to protect that from being unsieged. So I mean, we're losing. Or should I just call it? So clear offer. We can take everything around their capital. So I'm pretty sure. Um, Pride of Nit Nitro, do you know, like, is it still a thing? <laughs> Again, is it still a thing? Like, for example, since I am going to pretty much encircle their capital, does, like, all of this land ca uh, count, like, as over overseas? Because, like, over here, uh, with China, their capital is right here, and, of course, this one has a different name. Of course, it's still China territory, but I think it, it counts as overseas. Because I think this one, I mean, yes, it, I mean, we split them in half, but I think this one is not considered overseas because the capital is still in the same sea tile as the rest of the land. I don't know. But this one for sure, because it's not touching the same uh, territory with the capital. Or maybe the same with... Not not being in the same sea, sea tile. Because I'm guessing that if it's overseas it counts less. 
Like, I guess you get less bonuses. Like, I guess maybe, for example, you get less tax or production, I don't know. So, I don't know, that's pretty much has been my strategy, just trying to split them. But since I don't keep up with the updates, I really don't know. Overseas, it doesn't border another province that connects to them, to the capitals. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure like this one is over overseas, and then this one is not because it's still in the same sea tile. So that's... So I think if I were to sub a piece, take these two, uh, right, I mean, everything over here might be overseas. Yeah, we'd like to take these two, so they don't have any naval force limits. And then I guess anything over here. I don't know, I'm just tired of this war. Because <laughs> I don't think... Because I mean, if we fight this army right here, I mean, everyone is just going to jump in again. And then we have no morale. And then the longer I wait, they, they're going to unsiege my capital. I mean, the provinces that I already sieged, and then I'm going to get less war score. So I, I just feel like calling it right now. I guess it's my fault for not checking the river. Because, I mean, obviously there is terrain over here. But the river... Well, I guess if I get attacked from this province... We would maybe just have just terrain penalty, not river. Um, what's the name of the province? Nope, there's river. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope. Well, there's river everywhere. Terrain. Grassland. I mean, this is uh, mountain, so either way, we're gonna have the penalty. So I guess it's not my fault. So yeah, I really don't think we're gonna get any much war score. And then if we fight this like right now, and everyone jumps in and we lose again, we're gonna lose even more war score. So I don't know. I'm just gonna call it. Take whatever we can. So I'm gonna encircle uh, Russia's capital. And then take as much land as I can over here, so our font king gets even bigger. Because India is going to rule this game. So that looks like that's going to be it. Okay, so I can still take another 1%. War score. Okay, you can take that one. So I can take two provinces right here. And that, no, I can still take this one. But not that one. So splitting them even more. I guess I'm just gonna take that 25 or extension, but I mean, we're still gonna fight Russia again when I declare war on China, because that will bring in Russia, Japan, and Korea. Korea, we can e take easy separate piece, maybe, and then Russia. I mean, it depends if they join, which I mean, we still have to court everything. But yep, I think this is it. And then maybe a little bit of money, no? I guess that is everything. I mean, in a way, for me, it feels like I lost. But really, we did not. We won. We took a lane. So let's get everything cored. Russia, you can deal with your own rebels. Cause we out. 
So all of you, I mean, we do have a lot of war, I mean, manpower, so. I'm gonna send this entire troop to get their butts right over here. And then we will spread them out to there. You go over there, well, that maybe down here. Because I think China's uh, army is mainly going to be in this province. I see a little bit there, but I always see 100 stacks here. And this game is Russia's... Wait, in this game is Moscow still Russia's capital? Oh, we encircled it. Let's see. Moskva? Well, isn't Muscovy like somewhere over here? Like that capital? Wait, no, Moscow. That's not even a name. It doesn't exist. Nope, does not exist. It's not a province. Um, well, what am I doing? I need to move all of you as well. So Russia will have a smaller army. So Moscow is Russia for Moscow. Well, I don't know. Johnny, you're not the only one. I don't know either. So, I mean, we still need some troops over here. I will declare war on China when Russia accepts it and when we recover our manpower. So let's go speed forward. Let all of you get the hell out of here. You're not welcome. <laughs> but either way you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. You have it until next time. Bye bye.